Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And Kishore from Tested. It's a beautiful day today, Norm, but it's not always this way in the Bay Area. No, I think the forecast today calls for some hail. Oh, hail. Yeah, that's why we have a pneumatic hail cannon behind us and a solar panel, and I think we're gonna do something spectacular. Oh, that's fantastic. But this is real world testing too, because hail does hit solar panels. So what's gonna happen? Right, so we're here at Westpac and they're a testing facility that does exactly this. They shoot hail at solar panels to see how durable things like these panels are. And the machine's all set up, the solar panel, the sacrificial solar panel at the ready, high speed camera, safety glasses, and most importantly, we have a certified operator, Jessica here, who's gonna run Mr. Freeze. Let's get to it. Whoa. We definitely shot some hail at some solar panels. That was pretty incredible. So let's take a look at the, some of the data. Mm -hmm. uh, we did three rounds with hail, simulated hail, ice at about between 20 and 30 meters per second. Which is the standard they use to test ice and hail hitting solar panels. And the solar panel did fine against that. There was some you know, fantastic patterns of explosions across it, but it really didn't do any damage to it. So we upped it a little bit. And we used both plastic and metal. Yeah, a steel ball velocities. Thing. That's right. And that's the damage it caused. But what I'm surprised about, it didn't go all the way through. It yeah. basically broke the glass and it's tempered glass, so we see the shock pattern throughout. But it didn't necessarily destroy the entirety of the panel. Yeah, the whole experiment, really interesting stuff. Uh, we'll have more from our visit to Westpac where we'll learn about these actual machines, learn about Mr. Freeze, how it works, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, enjoy the high speed. <laughs> 